Hi, I'm Chuck Potter, inventor of the hoof cinch, and today we're going to show you how to install the hoof cinch properly. Uh, what you will need is a drill with a Phillips head bit, flathead screwdriver, and one hoof cinch kit. Now the kit will come with two bands. The bands include uh, attaching plates on both sides with three attaching holes. You also get the hold down tabs. You should get two of those per kit that you will bend in half uh, once you're ready to install those. And a bag of screws. Now the miniatures will have two sets of screws. You have to determine which ones you feel comfortable using uh, for length. On um, This is a standard size that we're going to put on this horse here. This horse is a previous founder uh, that we've already fixed with the hoof cinch, but we use him uh, to uh, do the modeling for us. All right. First foot we're going to do on him is uh, we're going to act like he can't pick his feet up and we will do him with his foot on the ground. So he's sore enough where you can't actually lift a foot to work on him. Uh, you can put these right on while he stands on the ground. You'll want to make sure that the tightening screw on the band always faces the outside of the horse. So if we're on this side of the horse we want it to face out away from so you don't have to go underneath the horse to tighten the band. All right. Okay. okay, what we want to do is put one screw in each attaching plate. Normally I'll go in the center hole on the attaching plate and just go ahead and put a screw in and for this horse I know he's not scared of the drill but if you think your horse may be nervous or you don't know go ahead and stand in a safe position and run the drill by his foot Make sure he's not going to jump. Once you feel secure, then you can start with the install. Okay, see if I can smash this down a little bit. Okay, to attach the attaching plate, anywhere on the side of the foot, halfway between the coronary band and the ground, I'd like to get them further back towards the heels if I can. And then you'll run that and you'll do the same thing on the inside. have the band on you'll notice that it can pivot now up and down we want to get one inch below the coronary band down on the hoof wall that puts us just below the extensor process on the coffin bone unless you have a sinker okay then you'll take your hold down tab bend it in half that over the band on either side it doesn't matter wherever you're more comfortable placing it I'll go on this side easier Okay. 
know that just keeps the band if the horse paws and hits something keeps him from being able to jam this up into a sensitive structure up here once you have that on you can snug it up a little bit more and then put at least two more screws in one in each side you only have to have two per side And once you have those on, then you can go ahead and tighten it. Now tightening. Just tighten it until the flathead's snug and it slips out of the screw head. Okay, if you have a horse that's a prior founder or if he's in an acute stage but comfortable enough to be able to pick his feet up, you can use your hoof stand uh, to do the work just like you would normally bring the foot forward in any farrier work. Um, once again, straighten the hoof wall out from the coronary band to the toe the best you can. And then we'll just do the application like we did on the other side. Once again, about an inch below the coronary band. Then the hold down tab in half. And then you can snug the band up so it's laying flat on the foot. Even though the band does not have to lay perfectly flat, it can have a space at the top if you have a different angle on the horse's foot. it up all the way. Once again, get it snug until you pop out and you're done.